Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come and I wanna do that through consistency and discipline. Um, today, I am doing some batch recording. So this is recording number three. I'm not sure of the order that all of these will be loaded, but today is December the 15th and this is going to be my budget close out for the paycheck that I received on December the 1st. And it covered any bills or expenses that I had from 12-1 through 12-14. Uh, I'd like to thank anyone who is listening right now for liking and commenting on videos and for everyone that has decided to subscribe to my channel. I truly did start this as a way just to hold myself accountable, but I do understand, recognize, and appreciate the community as a whole. So anyone who's decided to take this journey with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you saw my budget with me, for the December 15th paycheck, you may notice that this form is very different than that form. So this form is a form that I created myself in Canva, free version of Canva, uh, in Canva. And then just, I copy and paste it to a blank page. Uh, and I've been using that. Uh, it's allowed me to have all of the specific rows and categories that I've wanted that makes sense for my life and for my budget, and then gave me a little bit of space to be able to decorate as well. But going forward, then the one that you saw on December the 15th, that one is tied specifically to this particular planner. Um, you see all of these black tabs. Those are associated with the DGP uh, digital planner that I'm going to use for 2024. And they already have a finance page there and I'm learning how to work with that page. So, um, that's what you saw on the budget with me for this one. I am going to, um, I'm going to stop using it, but I did have it for December the 1st. So I am going to go ahead and continue to use it to close it out. And then you won't see this form any longer. Uh, so that was the first thing. The second thing is I've already checked. All of these have cleared uh, and I usually highlight all of these items as they clear, or as they post to my bills account, et cetera. Uh, I removed the highlight to make it easier for us to be able to walk through the budget closeout. Um, and so, but all of these have cleared. So I know for sure these are the amounts. And then number three, anything that you see that's highlighted or that's colored in red is bad. Anything that you see that's colored green is good. And anything as far as the actuals are concerned that's black means that it came in exactly how much it was supposed to, or that's what it should be. So we will go ahead and get started. I am going to zoom in so you're going to be able to see it. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So for my income, I thought our budget at 1325 I that actually came in at 1400 for my bills account variable account came in at 900 as expected rollover was 150 as expected so when i add those up together that is 2450 and this will be colored in green because i made more than i expected okay Next, for my sinking funds, they came in total at $350, which is what I expected, but how I, the money was allocated was a little bit different than how I budgeted it initially. So I wanted to give $70 towards gifts, and what happened was <laughs> that this um, paycheck for December the 1st came in, of course, after the Black Friday sale. And I found some things that I wanted to purchase and I didn't know if they were still going to be on sale for Cyber Monday or Tuesday or going forward. So I pulled the money from the household account, used that to go ahead and make those purchases. purchases, And then the $70 that I was supposed to put into gifts sinking fund with my December 1st paycheck, I just went ahead and allocated that money back to household to make household whole again. So that's why you see a zero there, but you see a higher amount for household. Likewise, I took a little bit of money from the car maintenance um, that I plan to allocate towards that and help to supplement the additional gifts that I wanted to cover the cost for. Uh, so I know some people would say, 
you know, why are you pulling from other sinking funds? But it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, having sinking funds means that you want to be able to spend this money, save this money so that you can spend it to keep you from having to swipe that credit card. And that's what this allowed me to do. So I took that extra 20 from car maintenance. I don't have any plans on putting that back, but I did want to make the household account uh, whole again. So I did move that money around. Um, at the end of the day, when you add all of this up, we're still at our $350. So for the buffer savings, I was supposed to put 55 aside and I did 25 instead. Savings challenges came in right as I expected it to. And then um, that totals then $95 instead of 125. And I went ahead and colored that green since I did have less going um, towards the savings than I anticipated. Some might look at it, and there have been some times myself that I would color it red because I really wanted to save more and I felt bad because I didn't, so I would mark it off as in red to say, dang, Monique, you should have put more aside. You know, you know, you probably need to tighten up a little bit on spending here or there. But this time it's green because again, I am using some of this these funds to help um, offset the cost as far as Christmas is concerned. Next with variable expenses, um, my weekly budget check-in, I do a two week time period on that. That is one of the videos that I did as far as this batch recording is concerned. You probably will see that video or that video will be posted before this video. Which one you see first is the <laughs> completely dependent upon what you decide. Um, but week one, I came in at 229, was, which was definitely under budget. And then what you'll see on that particular video is that week two, that just wrapped up on yesterday, Thursday, I still came in under budget. Okay, that's still green, but only by a dollar. So that's $319 on that one. So I'm going to leave the color green because I should be under budget overall for both of these together. Yep, and I came in at 548. So we'll leave that green. So total 548, although I want I budgeted $640. Next, uh ties is a wash that comes out before I even write down my the amount of income for my bills buffer. 250, I was able to set that aside for mortgage. Um, I pay a little bit at a time so that I have the full amount when it is due at the first of the month. Electric came in a dollar under AHS. So that's my home warranty. That came in a dollar under two. So that should be in green. 43. Um, Ring came out actually last month instead. So it came out on November the 30th and it wasn't supposed to come out until December the 1st. So I count, accounted for it on that check where November 30th bills were handled. And so that makes it a zero here. Fubo came in a couple of dollars under. Scribed and Verizon came in where I expected. $91 for AT&T, so that was $2 under. $1 under for Apple Care, but I forgot about Xerxes Groom. Uh, and so that came in at $50, and that's why that is in red. So 250, 109, 43, 112, 291, 4, and 50 equals 859. Um, so that is higher than the 826. So now that color needs to change. 8.59 on that one. Okay. Next. <clears throat> so for Discover, the actual bill itself that I got says that um, I only owed $60, but I have two balance transfers on the Discover card. That's all that's on there. There aren't any other purchases. Both of those balance transfers are at 0% interest for a certain amount of time. The way that I factored everything in, I needed to always pay at least $300 on that on that um, bill per month and I will come in right at zero for my balance right when these uh, zero percent balance transfer offers have expired. So it's really tight, 
but it will all work out if I maintain at least $300. Now, I do want to start to pay more money towards those when I can. I'm also doing a savings challenge in the savings book to try and save up $500 to add to debt as well to pay um, debt off as well. And hopefully between all of those things, I will be able to pay this off sooner than expected. But I have to at least, and you guys hold me accountable, I have to at least make sure I'm covering it at um, $300 a month and I should be okay. My bank fee was $5 as expected. Nelnet student loan is $82. Rooms to go. So Rooms to Go is not due until the 19th. This is leftover from when I made the lump sum balance transfer payment on, on that one. Um, so it wasn't really a balance transfer where I actually transferred it over to Discover. They gave me the money and then I went ahead and paid it on the Rooms to Go account because uh, I could not get things linked in order to do it the way, I guess the right way. So I did it that way. <laughs> so with that said, after I made the payment, looked at the account two days later, there was a $32, it was actually $31.89 that was still left there that needed to be covered. Now I could have waited until next paycheck, the paycheck um, that I received today, December the 15th, in order to pay that, but I still had some last minute shopping to do wasn't sure what that was going to look like. I had the $32 out of this check, so I went ahead and paid it from this one. So that's why you have it listed there. It says it's not due until the 19th, but I went ahead and covered the cost. It was not expected, and that's why you have it in red. Alrighty. 30 plus 5 plus 82 plus 32 equals $419. That is more than what I anticipated paying for this section. And so we're going to put that in red. All right, so let's get some of these numbers written down. 2450. Doesn't need to be red anymore, though. Let's see. Let's just put that in black. 2450. Uh, savings was 95. Sinking funds, $350. Um, variable expense was $548. Uh, $859 for fixed expenses and $419 for debt. All right, let's see where we are. Zoom in a little bit. $2450 minus $95. Minus 350, minus 548, 859, and 419. That's $179 left. So I should be in the green since that doesn't say negative. And that's a good news story for me. So it shows $179 under budget for the month. And so I should have that extra in my account. I will have to go and check and, <laughs> and make sure. My December 15th check is hit though. So, But I think I should be able to see what my balance was prior to that, like last night, what the balance showed. And so I will check there and see whether or not I have that. But at least I know everything was covered. I was able to take care of all of the bills I anticipated, plus the ones that came in one, of course, for grooming that I forgot about. And then the other one, I just wanted to pay a little bit um, earlier than I probably needed to, but it did not impact my budget. So I think we are good to go. Uh, so this is the last time you'll see this form. I'll be using the form associated with the 2024 digital planner that I'm going to use going forward. But we are done and the budget is now closed for the December 1st check. Okay. Thanks everybody for your time. You guys have a good one.